Video game easter eggs are ten a penny in this day and age, aren't they? It seems everywhere that you look there's a reference to a pop culture feature that's pretty much immediately dated, or a film or a game that's served as a reference point for the one that you're playing right now. But no matter the subject, there's one thing that usually connects them all, and that is that the nod has to be something that we'll all actually understand. I mean, after all, what's the point of making a reference that only a handful of people, likely the devs, will actually register with? Well, these eight entries sit somewhere in between these two milestones, as they are easter eggs that not everyone is going to get, but truly reward the hardcore fans that are in on the joke. These are moments that pay respect to the hours spent in previous titles, of knowledge of the developers themselves, or even better, of real-life moments that were truly impactful. But don't be ashamed if you don't know any of these, because together we'll educate the masses on what true easter eggs look like. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are eight video game easter eggs that only hardcore hardcore fans will understand. Number 8. Who would think of doing something so disgusting? Silent Hill 3 Horror video games often task players to confront their deepest and darkest fears, and more often than not you'll be forced to make your chosen avatar do something deeply disturbing. Things like going to places that you otherwise wouldn't even be in the same area code as, taking on villains whose shadow would make us scream, or as was the case of Silent Hill 2, making us reach into a dirty toilet to fish out some goodies. Now James Sunderland is a man that's going through an awful lot, so maybe we should be a little bit more lenient with his amateur plumbing desires, but still, you wouldn't catch me dead putting my arm down a U-bend of any of these bogs. I mean, look at the state of them. Which actually is what makes an easter egg in Silent Hill 3 all the more rewarding. For when Heather is asked to do the same sort of exploration, if you have a save file of Silent Hill 2 on your memory card, the game will trigger a special cutscene. Heather turns to the camera and asks, who would even think of doing something so disgusting, breaking the fourth wall and acting as a lovely nod to fans of the series? Number 7. Lon Lon Ranch the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild It goes without saying that Ocarina of Time might well be one of the best known and most cherished entries in the entire Legend of Zelda franchise, having wowed players the world over and likely being a hefty pillar of many a childhood. Yet, as the years have gone on, the franchise has only grown and grown, and while Ocarina will never fade into obscurity, it has been buried in a slew of new games, which is why it's so touching to find some lovely nods to the title in the Breath of the Wild. As you explore you'll come across a rundown farmstead, which might not mean anything to younger or newer fans of the series, but may well cause a tear to form in the eyes of older veterans, as this location bears an uncanny resemblance to Lon Lon Ranch from Ocarina of Time, the location where Epona, your loyal steed, originally came from. It's actually quite haunting to see it in this form. Number 6. Secret Cow Level – Diablo 2 Diablo 2 might well be one of the most perfect gaming experiences that I've ever had the pleasure to take part in. Not only was the gameplay so so enriching and deep that it acted like a tar pit on your life and time, not only were the battles grandiose and gory in equal measure, but the game also had a bloody secret cow level in it. Now, for casual fans who experience this absolutely bizarre secret, it might not mean that much to them, but to true Diablo fans, this wasn't just a hilarious thing to discover, but was one that actually felt like vindication. For you see, upon Diablo 1's release, rumours began spreading of a secret cow level in the game that could be accessed by clicking on a dead cow. And in fact, there were tons of other methods, all of which were false. And this grew to such fever pitch that the devs even had to officially deny its existence, which of course only made people believe the rumours even more. So when Diablo Mu, I mean Diablo 2 came out, fans were delighted to find that the secret cow level did exist and soon became one of the most infamous areas of the game, with veterans of the franchise smiling ear to ear at its inclusion. Number 5. Now I'm playing with power, Injustice 2. The Injustice series of fighting games is basically a treasure trove for superhero trivia and references, as not only are the titles exceptional in their gameplay and narrative, but also a clear love letters to DC mainstays. In fact, so rich are the quips, customizable items and references that many will actually go over the heads of more casual fans. Take for example the mid-round barb that's thrown out by the Scarecrow in Injustice 2. If you manage to best a foe with this fear fueled fanatic, he might shout out, now I'm playing with power, which might seem really 
really odd at first, but to anyone who's a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, this will make perfect and hilarious sense. You see, Scarecrow is played by legendary horror actor Robert Englund, who is most famous for his work as Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. In the fifth and quite terrible installment, Freddy harasses one of his victims while they're trapped inside a video game and utters the same line, itself being a reference to Nintendo's famous NES slogan. It's a blink and you'll miss it moment, but one that's truly rewarding for fans of Englund's work. Number four, booing on the ball, FIFA 13. Sometimes the best Easter eggs are those that reference things that happen directly in real life. And while the FIFA series might be the last place that you think to look for hidden secrets, FIFA 13 contained an absolute belter that was back of the net. I'm sorry. So back in 2011, during a match between the Colorado Rapids and the Seattle Sounders, Colorado midfield Brian Mullen, in a desperate and aggressive attempt to get the ball off of Steve Zakuani, committed a brutal two-foot tackle which ended up snapping the poor bloke's leg. It was genuinely disgusting, but was a move equaled only by the man's response when interviewed later, in which he said, it was a tackle that I've done hundreds of times and I'd probably do it again. Big boo energy, right? Well, FIFA 13 sure thought so because in the game, if you chose to play the two teams against each other and Mullen was on the ball, the crowd would boo and taunt him. To a casual fan, this would be confusing, but to those that went deep on either football team, they'd be reminded of his movie villain actions. Number 3. The Hidden Golf Game Nintendo Switch If you're a true and blue Nintendo fan, then even the mere mention of their 1984 game Golf should bring a tear to your eye. However, it's not a tear that comes from its quality or lack thereof, but because it was the first game that Nintendo's beloved late president Satoru Iwata produced. He was a true icon of the company, making countless appearances for Nintendo and cemented himself as a kind and hard-working individual with immense respect for the video game industry. His passing in 2015 was one of great sadness. And so, as tribute to the late great, Nintendo hid a copy of Golf on every single Nintendo Switch, which was only playable on the date of his death, July 11th. It's a touching and loving reference to a man who gave so much to the company and helped shape countless childhoods. And for true fans, it really is something special to behold, or at least it was because the game was quietly removed in a later system update. That's actually quite sad, isn't it? Number 2. Warm Socks – Horizon Zero Dawn It's very common for some video games to have crossover moments and references to other titles, be they little digs or homages to those that inspire them. However, very few seem to be as in-depth and heartwarming as the relationship between Death Stranding and Horizon Zero Dawn. You see, Death Stranding uses the graphics engine developed by Zero Dawn's design team Guerrilla Games, and as an homage, you can find long-neck holograms with relics within the Kojima-headed masterpiece, but this is nothing compared to the gift that Death Stranding sent back to Zero Dawn. Across her journey, Aloy will come across three extremely rare items that have been lifted directly from Death Stranding. I mean, this is nice enough, right? Well, if you take these items to a special vendor, you'll get the chance to trade them for a mystery box. Acting almost like that Simpsons moment, the box, the box, the box, contains a few enhancements and a pair of warm socks. Okay. Well, to the uninitiated, this will mean very little, but to Death Stranding fans, this will be a reference to Norman Reedus's bare and often bloody or frostbitten feet. Plus, of course, you give socks to family members at Christmas, and this is a Christmas-themed present, so yeah, it's truly a touching secret. And number 1. Dice LA Outfit – Battlefield 4 In the world of online multiplayer games, sometimes your chosen skin can say more about you than words ever could. Remember those flaming helmets from Halo 3? If you had one of them, it was like being a minor celebrity as people just fawned over the admittedly quite naff-looking nowadays flame effects. However, this was nothing compared to the awe that you'd evoke if you started strutting your stuff in the Dice LA Outfit in Battlefield 4. Now, to noobs of the series, this plain white garb would mean very little, but to anyone who followed the dev diaries or alpha gameplay footage would know this skin was only available to actual employees of DICE LA. However, that's only one part of the story, as you could unlock this skin for play as well, but it took an insane amount of research from the player base to find out how. It would actually take too long to detail how to complete these steps, but let's just say that it requires reading Morse code off of lantern signals, pulling switches that are hidden around the map, destroying specific items, and then entering a unique code in order to unlock the skin. This truly was an easter egg for the hardcore of hardcore fans. And there we go my friends, those were 8 video game easter eggs that only hardcore fans will understand. I hope that you enjoyed that and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. If you want to chat to me further you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero or you can swing by Living Let's Dice, my personal gaming channel where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. Great to see you over there. But before I go my friends, I just want to say one thing. We
deep down today a lot about hidden Easter eggs, little nuggets of wisdom that actually meant a lot to the few that found them. So let me try and pass on some good knowledge to you, my friend, today, because you, yes, you, listening to this video, you are an absolute ledge. You deserve love, happiness, and respect, and a great and happy life. Do not let anything or anyone tell you otherwise. You only get one chance at life on this crazy blue marble, so let's make the best of it. I hope that you're surrounding yourself with friends and families and love and support, but always remember one thing, even if one of these areas is faltering, you are never alone, okay? You can speak to people about your problems, you can get help because people want you to do well, no one wants to see another person suffer. So I hope that you go out there and you absolutely smash it, you big ledge. As always, I've been Jules, you have been awesome, never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon, bye.